What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News. And I was sitting here thinking, you know, we know <clears throat> different promotional companies and different platforms and, and networks, and we know how these things work. People cater to their own. But one thing I cannot figure out is what is Deontay Wilder's dislike, hatred, disdain for Eddie Hearn? For Anthony Joshua, for that matter. You know, because, I mean, he talks more about Anthony Joshua than he does Eddie Hearn, but, I mean, it's it's dislike there. It's, it's, like, it's almost genuine dislike. And you got to ask yourself, you, you know, this is a serious question. What did Anthony Joshua do to Deontay Wilder? Where at any point in time did Deontay Wilder get bashed or blasted or slandered by Joshua? You know what I mean? Um, now, the Eddie Hearn thing, I don't know why the immediate dislike for Eddie Hearn you know, this started last year. Backstory. Oh, Eddie Hearn runs his fighters like a plantation. You guys remember that? And I just thought it was just, you know, maybe it's just talk because, you know, maybe just somebody living in the past and using old rhetoric to start shit for race baiting or whatever. But then I'm like, okay, is there any legitimacy to that? You know, why would he say that he's running his stable like a uh, plantation? You know, what is the dislike for Eddie Hearn? Now, we know Eddie Hearn has said things about Deontay Wilder that, hey, you know, he's just a guy from uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Nobody knows him. You know, he did the New York test. He did like what Tyson Fury did. You know, I think I think Eddie Hearn did it first, honestly, with he was asking people, hey, do you know who Deontay Wilder is? Do you know who Deontay Wilder is? Hey, do you know who Deontay Wilder is? You know, now I could see how that can be something that'll piss you off because someone's question your questioning your legitimacy of being known or publicity or no you know, notoriety or what have you. But honestly, that was always the case with Wilder. I mean, that was a given. A lot of people didn't know who he was. Yes, Eddie Hearn rubbed his face in it, rubbed the reality of knowing that, you know, rubbed that fact in Deontay's face that nobody really knows you like they should. You being the American champ, long as you've been, long as you've been a professional, people should know who you are at this point. So, you know, I can understand Deontay not liking Eddie Hearn, all on top of Shelly Finkel, right? We're educated to that point. Shelly Finkel doesn't like Eddie Hearn, maybe because of something Finkel and, and Barry Hearn got into. And then, of course, you know, that generation, generational grudges took place in that situation, right? And I think because Shelly Finkel looks at Deontay Wilder more as a, uh, a child or a, a guardian, you know, um, how he guarded his career, I think that was also the same thing, those generational grudges that were passed down. So Shelly Finkel didn't like Eddie Hearn, therefore Deontay doesn't like Eddie Hearn because, you know, that's like his guardian slash stepdad or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, because that's how, you know, he runs it. I never really looked at it like that, but that's how that is, right? Um, that may be the case. But then what I don't understand is what is... Deontay Wilder's dislike for Joshua. Joshua is a fighter on Matchroom. Okay, I get that. But because just because his promoter is Eddie Hearn, why does he dislike Joshua the way he does? You know, that's something that's always been puzzling to me when you hear Deontay... <sighs> talk shit after shit after shit about Anthony Joshua and the funny thing about it when Joshua hears it he never bites back right 
The only thing I heard even remotely threatening from Anthony Joshua in regards to Deontay Wilder was get him in the ring and I'll slap him around the ring. That's really all I heard. But like, I didn't really hear him say, you know, all I hear, hey, good luck to him. Yo, he does his thing. That's that's what he's supposed to do, isn't it? You know, those type of things that, you know, uh, you know, the British do, you know, they ask questions within their, you know, explaining things, you know, but never like, hey, he's a clown like he did Lennox Lewis, you know, and I'm waiting for the time for Deontay to keep talking because he's talked a lot. Deontay Wilder's talked more shit about Anthony Joshua than Dillian White has done about Deontay Wilder. That's a lot. That's a lot of shit talk. I mean, that's a tub of shit. That's a Andy Ruiz belly amount of shit that's been spoken about, right? So you just wonder like, well, what is the dislike? I mean, the dude never really did anything to you besides be the other champion with the, the rest of the belts. You know, they offered you career high day pay and you didn't take it. You decided to do something else. You turned down the offers, but then yet you call people coward and scared and didn't want to fight, don't have a heart of a champion. He was happy as hell. Do you understand how happy Deontay Wilder was when, when Joshua got beat the first time in June 1st, June 2nd? He was the happiest man alive. You know what I mean? He was happy, dude. He was generally happy. You seen him when he when you had Ruiz there and Deontay there, you know that he was <laughs> right? I mean the dude was happy and I'm like, well, what the fuck? You supposed to wanted to fight this dude, but then someone else comes and does the job for you and you're happy about it? Knowing all the money that you could have made and you're happy about it? You know, because to me, I'm like, damn, this motherfucker made $7 million and they offered me $100 million. Fuck, I could have done that. That would be me if I generally was wanting to fight Joshua. Or even worse, because if they didn't want to settle for $100 million and they wanted $150 million, so $75 million a fight, right? Or $85 million a fight. That's ever so more to be pissed off like fuck i was just baiting this kid to give us more money we was already at 100 million if they're thinking that greedy right if they had that greedy mindset him shelly al Heyman, and you know jd's if they had oh hey De deontay man i'm telling you man just, just keep going just keep them motherfuckers going man if they, they they're gonna give you 75 a fight that's jd's they're gonna give you 75 a fight just keep on just you and shelly do your damn thing i'm gonna be back here in the gym just do your damn thing. Hell, they're going to give you 75. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that would be like, fuck, you fucked it all up, Andy. I should fucking smack you. You know what I mean? But it wasn't that type of reaction. That's why I don't get. Then Joshua wins. Okay, let's stop. Before he wins, Deontay was cheerleading. He had his pom-poms and shit. Let's go, Ruiz, Ruiz, for undisputed, right? Same team, same team. You know, and it's funny, uh, Mark Breland said something that was totally off the rocker. Like, oh, maybe, just maybe, Joshua and Team Hearn will pay Ruiz to lose. Remember that? Remember I countered that? I countered that video. Well, knowing what we know now, Deontay is so happy or so eager for Ruiz to win. And maybe Mark says something like that. Would this be too far-fetched to think that, well, damn, maybe, just maybe? This motherfucker might have been the whole time attempting to bribe Ruiz for a fix if they ever fought. Think about it. You know, I'm pretty sure that Team Wilder could come up with 15 million more than what he got for the AJ fight. You know, that's just speculation, but it like seems to me Mark Breland let that slip. Oh, he's going to pay him to take a dive or, or lose. But then you're like, okay, well, wait a minute. That don't make sense. So why did you say that? Why would you even bring that to the forefront? 
whose thought was that? Was that your thought? Maybe that's some shit that you planning to do with Ruiz since Deontay, come on Ruiz, go Ruiz, win. And then he lost, he blasts him, he's pissed off. Hell, you should be happy. You should be okay, good. He got his belts back. I could ask for us that big ass chunk of money before my profile's bigger so I can really legitimately get a hundred million dollars this time, maybe even more, right? Since Joshua's the two-time champion, the money's gonna be way more than it would if he fought Ruiz. But I don't think that was the case because if it was true that, that Team D Wilder, this is speculation, right? We're gonna pay off Ruiz, it wouldn't have mattered because then they would get they would have got something once again for nothing. You know? But it's just real strange on the behavior of Wilder don't like it Anthony not liking Anthony Joshua because of Eddie Hearn. That really doesn't make sense to me. You know, I really question that. I really do. Because the last time these guys seen each other, mind you, it was when Joshua knocked out Klitschko. And he gave him the famous fist bump of appreciation, of recognition, of you did that type shit. Congratulations. But then after that, there has been no face-to-face. -face, there's been no physical you know, they say he said he's talked to him a couple times, but that's it. You know, over the phone, I guess, trying to make the fight made or whatever. You know what I mean? You know, and that was, you know, that's suspect because I really want to hear those conversations. You know, but I just find it strange. You guys tell me what you think about these uh, chain of events. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.